Meet Boron. In this video, we'll explore why Boron is called an electron thief, and its unique properties and applications in modern technology. Boron's crystal lattice is one of the hardest materials on Earth, giving it a massive melting point, making it a valuable semiconductor. But why is Boron so rigid? To find out, let's explore its atomic structure. Imagine the nucleus as the center of a city. The city has energy levels, like neighborhoods. And within those neighborhoods are orbitals, the houses where electrons live. Boron has five electrons. The first house is full with two. So, of the remaining three electrons, two electrons fill in the yes house in the second bigger energy level. But only one electron is left for the three 2p houses. To bond, boron mixes its two yes and two of its 2p orbitals to form an yes p2 orbital. This creates three equal orbitals that result in a flat, trigonal planar molecule, leaving one huge empty orbital. As the first in group 13, boron has only three valence electrons. When it forms molecules like BF3, it bonds to three atoms. But the BF3 Lewis structure shows only six total valence electrons, that leaves a huge, empty orbital. This deficiency is why we call boron the electron thief, always looking to steal electrons. This powerful structure translates to powerful uses. What glass can survive going straight from a blazing oven to an ice bath? Boron makes Pyrex resistant to thermal shock, which is why it's in everything from laboratory beakers to your kitchen ovenware and coffee pots, and is key to the world's strongest permanent magnets for electric motors. How do you instantly shut down a nuclear reactor? Boron's isotope, B10, is used in control rods to absorb thermal neutrons. And that electron thief nature? It's used to dope silicon in microchips, creating the P-type semiconductors that power your computer. It gives composites aerospace-grade strength and is in everyday things like tennis rackets, the cleaner borax and vital plant nutrients. That's boron, the electron thief. Next up, we cover carbon, the king of chemistry. Like, share, and follow for more Chem 101.